Hi, it's me, Edwin Salmon. That's my real name, by the way, in case some people were wondering. Is Edwin Salmon a stage name that you came up with for comedic purposes? No. Who would do that? Who sits down with a blank piece of paper and goes, I can name myself absolutely anything. Come on, marketing team. What's in the zeitgeist? What are people laughing at? Fish? Okay, fish. Uh, what else? Absentee Protestant landowner names. Right. I didn't expect them to cross over in the Venn diagram of comedy names, but uh, let's go for it. Uh, Trevor Trout. Uh, Henry Halibut. Uh, Colin Carp. Uh, no, not sexy enough. Uh, Billy Big Mouth Bass. Um, <laughs> Willie Whale. Oh, no, he's a uh, porn star. No, uh, let's just go with Edwin Salmon. I'm a funny Protestant fish man who's got great jokes about transubstantiation. No, um, I hit a milestone birthday there recently. Uh, I turned 50. No, that was a test. I am not 50. Everyone who wooed is now my enemy for life. Although now I am worried about my health. If you think I look like I should get to a doctor, I think I may be. Maybe some young people were shouting out, is that what 50 looks like? I don't know, I'm young, I'm never gonna get old and die. <laughs> Woo! No, um, I, I love doing this job, it's a, it's a nice job. It's the only job I've had where I can drink on the job and it's fine. No one panics, I'm not flying a plane, it's okay. You wouldn't wanna be on a plane waiting for it to take off and the pilot comes over the intercom, good morning everybody. <laughs> Super confident about this flight today. I am full to the gills with confidence. Oh boy, howdy. Now you can probably hear it in my voice. I had a few last night and a couple this morning just to calm the shakes. I got, I'm a professional fly boy. Gotta get this big metal tube two miles up in the sky. How does it stay up there? I have no idea. Magic, that's my guess, magic. Philip is a co-pilot, he's only half cut. So if something goes wrong, he'll take over. Now please pay attention to the safety announcements are gonna happen soon. If you don't pay attention to the safety announcements, something happens, please take your headphones and smash them in the face of the person beside you. Put your laptop on your seat and sit on it until it cracks. And uh, please pay attention and pay attention to the safety exit, sir, because something happens later on and the plane's falling apart and the wings are off and you go, what's going on? I should have paid attention to the safety announcements. <laughs> Our uh, attendants are going to be taking very, very good care of you on this one hour flight to London. The weather in London is basically the same as the weather here. <laughs> There's just a little bit more of it. Uh, we have a selection of soup, as, uh, soup is coriander and coriander, and we have some sandwiches. We also have soup sandwiches, which is my own invention. It's a hollowed out sandwich full of soup. You eat the soup and then you chew on a soggy sandwich. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. We'd like to thank you for choosing our line, airline. We know you have a choice when you choose an airline, and you obviously chose this airline because it was the cheapest flying flight as you could find. On a skyscanner. So the opposite bad of my scratch cards. <laughs> they should they sell those scratch cards just like halfway through the flight. They should sell those scratch cards five minutes before the descent happens. They should go, we're gonna sell scratch cards now, and if you don't buy them, I don't know the plane mightn't land. <laughs> Who knows what'll happen? Your luck has to be in, so buy a scratch card or mm, no, um, so I'm not 50, I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting old, I'm scared, I was scared to do that, you know that face app thing where they, uh, it ages you, I was scared to do that because I just, I get a picture of a coffin with a beard, and I, I didn't want that. Uh, now I have to say, uh, my watch is running, I have to say, <laughs> I have to say something serious, which mightn't go down very well here in Galway, because uh, I'm a big animal rights advocate. I really, I can't stand any sort of cruelty to animals. And there's a very cruel animal sport that's very popular here, popular all over the world, it's very popular in Galway. I'm talking about horse racing. Now, I think horse racing is a very cruel animal sport that should be banned. I think for too long, they have been starving tiny little men <laughs> and dressing those poor tiny men up like boiled sweets 
or Battenbergs. Some of them look like Battenbergs. It's like Mr. Kipling's wacky races, except not as hilarious and cute as that sounds. It's terrifying. And then they put them on horses with ridiculous names like Sherry Trifle Hangover and Pierce Brosnan's Ecstasy Ballroom and Reverend Ian Paisley's Guided Meditation Tape, Volume 4, which is a terrific series of meditation tapes if you don't want to relax. You are in a relaxing meadow. Mm, I'm really not, Ian. Listen to the soothing sounds of my voice. Feel the grass between your toes. You've stood on a cow pat, but it's warm and it's cold outside. Feel the warm cow dung between your toes. You will relax now. Yeah, still not working. Although I am slightly aroused. So ladies and gentlemen, You've had an insight into my sexual preferences. Ah, go away. Hello, uh, my name is, and will continue to be, Edwin Salmon, in case of, uh, uh, maybe I'll commit a crime, I have to shave my beard off, stick it on my head, and change my name to Eduardo Sanchez, and set up a tiki bar right here in Galway. Welcome to my tiki bar. Where am I from? I don't know. Let's say France, because that's what that sounds like. So uh, please follow me on Instagram or Twitter or the street. Uh, they're all viable options and uh, I hope to see you standing at the end of my bed watching me sleep. Thank you very much. Bye.